What's going on guys? The CTA Prime back here again. Today I am back with the Odroid N2 and I wanted to test out some Atomus Wave and Naomi games using Botocera. Now this build is available on the Botocera website. I'll leave a link in the description. It's still really early for the board and the software, but I gotta say that Atomus Wave and Naomi games run really, really well on this hardware. If you're not familiar with the Odroid N2, I'm gonna leave a link in the description to a review video I did. And if you don't know what Botocera is, I got videos on that also. I just placed the Thomas Wave and Naomi games in the Naomi folder inside of Botocera, and we're going to get right into it. First up, we got Rumblefish 2. This is using the Raycast core inside of RetroArch, and I've tested this on a lot of single board computers. It actually runs pretty well on the XU4, but I can tell you right now that it's running much better on the N2. There are a few audio issues here and there, but remember, this is the first release of Botocera for the Odroid N2, and it's already running this good. I will leave the name of the game on screen so you know it's playing at any given time and I'll be back at the end of the video to let you know what I think.
The Odroid N2 is already shaping up to be an awesome little board for emulation and everyday computing. And like with all new releases, be it hardware or software, you're going to find bugs. As you might have noticed, in Marvel vs. Capcom 2, some of the sounds were missing. Now, I do not notice this on x86 when I'm using the same core, but I'm sure it's software related, and I know it can be fixed later on down the road. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Really appreciate you watching. I got some links in the description if you're interested in checking it out. The N2 does run Naomi and Atomus Wave pretty well. I'd really appreciate it if you could hit that like button, maybe subscribe to the channel, and like always, thanks for watching.